It's a giant leap for the future of space travel, promising to make interplanetary journeys as comfortable and exciting as they are breathtaking. It's not just about seats and buttons. It's about transforming how we explore space. Get ready to take on a thrilling ride and find out what this cosmic revolution truly means for humanity's future among the stars. Before entering the details, hit the subscribe button to our channel, Next Gizmo. Let's start! On April 20th, Starship's first test launch marked a significant feat, yielding essential data for SpaceX's future missions. Elon Musk's Mars colonization vision depends on both flight capabilities and meticulous interior design. SpaceX's Nick Cummings unveils Starship's amenity-rich interior for celestial journeys in today's episode. The beginning of the end for space firms that failed to see its potential is evident, representing a groundbreaking leap forward in space exploration. The bustling activity at Starbase in Texas, where workers tirelessly labor day and night preparing for the second test in the next few months, is a testament to SpaceX's commitment to pushing the boundaries of space travel and making life interplanetary. By combining a massive payload capacity and the revolutionary concept of reusability, Starship can potentially revolutionize the economics of launching humans and objects into space. If not careful, SpaceX may become the only game in town, rendering legacy launch systems obsolete, as noted by physicist Casey Hanmer, founder of Terraform Industries. While aerospace giant Boeing continues to delay testing its Starliner spacecraft, Starship continues to rapidly improve and evolve, inspiring hope for the future of space travel. The Command and Control Center houses advanced navigation and communication equipment, as well as seating for the flight crew. The overall design of SpaceX's Starship interior aims to balance functionality and comfort, catering to the needs of astronauts on long-duration missions to Mars. The spacecraft's various levels serve specific purposes, from cargo storage to exercise facilities and from crew quarters to a communal relaxation area with panoramic views of the cosmos. Each detail, including the innovative zero-gravity toilet, contributes to the crew's well-being and mission success in the vast expanse of space. The command deck is where the crew would secure themselves into their seats during launch and landing. While the Starship is primarily designed for autonomous flight, manual controls and flight instruments may still be present here. Connecting each level of the spacecraft is a central column, which not only facilitates easy movement in the zero-gravity environment, but also acts as a conduit for plumbing and wiring, providing structural support to the spacecraft's core. Energy sources are critical for the Starship's operation, with solar energy emerging as a primary consideration due to its renewable nature and success on the International Space Station. However, deploying sufficiently large solar panels on the Starship is a challenge. To overcome this, a modular solar panel system may be constructed in space and attached during refueling in orbit. Another potential energy source is batteries. Given Elon Musk's association with Tesla, a prominent electric vehicle manufacturer, these considerations are crucial for sustaining life and operating systems in this massive spacecraft. The exploration of battery technology as a viable option for power generation on the Starship takes a back seat as hydrogen fuel cells emerge as a promising alternative. These fuel cells efficiently convert hydrogen gas into electricity, producing water as a byproduct. Since hydrogen is the lightest element in the known universe, this technology boasts the advantage of lightweight energy production. Notably, hydrogen fuel cells have already found successful applications in powering cars. Scaling up this technology to meet the energy demands of the Starship appears plausible, offering a reliable and effective power source while minimizing the spacecraft's overall weight. As one explores the interior of the Starship, the complexity and endless possibilities within this extraordinary spacecraft become evident. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our unyielding drive to push the boundaries of what was once possible. Living and working in a self-contained environment for extended periods is both thrilling and daunting, and whether the Starship can offer a harmonious balance between functionality and comfort, ensuring the well-being of its inhabitants during long-duration missions remains to be answered. David Willis, known as at the Primal Dino on social media, recently shared purported new renders of SpaceX's Human Landing System, or HLS, variant of the Starship spacecraft. These renders mark the first visual update in the vehicle's design since NASA awarded SpaceX the contract in 2021 for the Artemis mission, 
scheduled for later this decade. The earlier design featured a sleek white rocket with integrated solar panels at its apex. This visually striking concept seemed more like a dream in spacecraft design. Nevertheless, it captured the imagination of many enthusiasts. These renderings had become the standard representation when discussing Starship's role in NASA's lunar missions. The new renders, as shared by David Willis, are anticipated to provide fresh insights into the evolving design of this pivotal lunar vehicle, promising exciting prospects for future lunar exploration. In the unveiling of a revamped design, Willis offered insights into an older iteration of the spacecraft, unable to definitely ascertain its relevance in the present. The new design presents a significant leap in refinement, showcasing three prominent alterations to the rocket's configuration. The foremost modification is the relocation of solar panels, now emerging from bays atop the rocket. During flight, these panels gracefully extended, resembling the standard deployment method seen in spacecraft. Upon lunar touchdown, they seamlessly retract to align flush with the lander's side. The second conspicuous change pertains to the landing legs, which are notably smaller and appear fixed in position. In contrast, the initial design featured more giant, potentially retractable legs. This alteration implies a potential weight reduction, as there is no need for the legs to retract into the body. Furthermore, if the provided renders are authentic, they indicate a strategic repositioning of the thrusters into multiple pods encircling the lander. This adjustment places the landing thrusters at a higher vantage point, minimizing the potential disturbance they may cause on the lunar surface during the crucial landing phase, a precaution against the dislodgement of substantial rocks. Although the authenticity of these renders remains unconfirmed, they bear punch resemblance in style and quality to SpaceX's previous releases. Notably, the rendering of the Starship HLS on the lunar surface mirrors the same terrain features and background as the original. This has led to speculation that these renders might have been employed for internal briefings, with stakeholders such as NASA yet never officially disseminated to the public. SpaceX and NASA have maintained a veil of secrecy surrounding the current status of the Starship Human Landing System, or HLS, project. While official updates have been scarce, keen observers have discerned hints within the bustling confines of SpaceX's Starbase in Texas. These hints are nose cones adorned with a symbolic HLS inscription, nestled within the vast Starship production facility. These nose cones are widely believed to be mock-ups, offering glimpses of the HLS interior. However, these tantalizing teasers are the extent of the information available to the public. One aspect of the Starship HLS endeavor that can be discussed with some certainty is the development of its launch vehicle. SpaceX took a significant step earlier this year when they launched their first fully integrated Starship rocket, which came tantalizingly close to the crucial stage separation. Following this milestone, the aerospace company awaited regulatory approval for its next launch. Unfortunately, the launch approval process has been buried in bureaucratic hurdles, causing delays frustrating for SpaceX. Bill Gerstenmaier, vice president of SpaceX's Build and Flight Reliability, shed light on the regulatory challenges during a recent hearing. He stated that the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, requires substantially more resources to expedite the process of licensing rocket launches. Gerstenmaier emphasized that the FAA's current resources need to be improved to meet the demands of the rapidly evolving space industry. While the FAA has diligently completed its review of the Starship, it's now dependent on the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to finalize its consultation before granting the necessary approvals for the upcoming Starship launch. Amidst these bureaucratic hurdles, NASA has remained resolute in its aspirations to utilize Starship to return humans to the moon, a feat not achieved since the Apollo missions. NASA's ambitious target is to achieve this lunar landing by 2026. However, the realization of this timeline is increasingly uncertain as Starship remains firmly grounded, unable to fulfill its mission as a lunar lander. The significance of Starship to NASA's lunar aspirations cannot be overstated. This revolutionary spacecraft can transport astronauts to and from the lunar surface with greater efficiency and capacity than any previous vehicle. Its successful integration into NASA's Artemis program promises to step into a new era of lunar exploration, bridging a decades-long gap in human lunar missions. 
Yet, the current state of Starship, caught in a web of regulatory delays, poses a significant challenge to this grand vision. In the face of these challenges, the fate of Starship HLS remains uncertain. As SpaceX, NASA, and regulatory bodies grapple with the intricacies of space travel, the eyes of the world remain fixed on the distant horizon, waiting for the day when this ambitious spacecraft can finally take flight and pave the way for humanity's triumphant return to the moon. The 2026 target date, once brimming with hope, now hangs in the balance, awaiting the moment when Starship can break free from its terrestrial constraints and fulfill its destiny as a lunar landing pioneer. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the next Gizmo channel, hit the bell icon, like, and share our videos for more awesome content.